A researcher Dr. Naeem Abbas, explained the worst air pollution in his country Pakistan and explained how Chinese and Indian coal-fired power plants are polluting their adjacent downwind countries like Pakistan. Authors propose a new law named Polluter Pays Principle to compensate the public losses. Pakistan should fight her case in the United Nations. The Convention on Long Range Transboundary Air Pollution, often abbreviated as Air Pollution or CLRTAP, is intended to protect the human environment against air pollution and to gradually reduce and prevent air pollution, including long range transboundary air pollution. It is implemented by the European Monitoring and Evaluation Programme EMEP, directed by the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe UNECE. Topic. Overview The convention opened for signature on November 13, 1979 entered into force on March 16, 1983. The convention, which now has 51 parties, identifies the Executive Secretary of the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe UNECE, as its secretariat. The current parties to the convention are shown on the map. The convention is implemented by the European Monitoring and Evaluation Programme EMEP, short for Cooperative Programme for Monitoring and Evaluation of the Long-Range Transmission of Air Pollutants in Europe. Results of the EMEP program are published on the EMEP website, www.emep.int. Since 1979 the Convention on Long-Range Transboundary Air Pollution has addressed some of the major environmental problems of the UNECE region through scientific collaboration and policy negotiation. The convention has been extended by eight protocols that identify specific measures to be taken by parties to cut their emissions of air pollutants. Protocol on long-term financing of the cooperative program for monitoring and evaluation of the long-range transmission of air pollutants in Europe EMEP 1984. 1985 Helsinki Protocol on the Reduction of Sulfur Emissions Nitrogen Oxide Protocol 1988 Volatile Organic Compounds Protocol 1991 1994 Oslo Protocol on Further Reduction of Sulfur Emissions Protocol on Heavy Metals 1998 Aarhus Protocol on Persistent Organic Pollutants 1998 1999 Gothenburg Protocol to Abate Acidification, Eutrophication and Ground Level Ozone 1999. The aim of the convention is that parties shall endeavor to limit and, as far as possible, gradually reduce and prevent air pollution including long-range transboundary air pollution. Parties develop policies and strategies to combat the discharge of air pollutants through exchanges of information, consultation, research and monitoring. The parties meet annually at sessions of the executive body to review ongoing work and plan future activities including a work plan for the coming year. The three main subsidiary bodies, the Working Group on Effects, the Steering Body to EMEP and the Working Group on Strategies and Review, as well as the Convention's Implementation Committee, report to the executive body each year. Currently, the Convention's priority activities include review and possible revision of its most recent protocols, implementation of the Convention and its protocols across the entire UNECE region with special focus on Eastern Europe, the Caucasus and Central Asia and Southeast Europe and sharing its knowledge and information with other regions of the world. Topic. See also. Aarhus Protocol on Persistent Organic Pollutants Protocol on Heavy Metals Critical Load International Environmental Agreements Gothenburg Multi-Effect Protocol 1985 Helsinki Protocol on the Reduction of Sulfur Emissions 1994 Oslo Protocol on Further Reduction of Sulfur Emissions Volatile Organic Compounds Protocol <laughs>